Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you a foolproof trick to tying super straight rows of double half hitch knots in your macrame wall hangings and other projects. For the sake of comparison, I'm going to tie a row of double half hitch knots going across freehand, trying really hard to make them straight, and then I'm going to show you how it looks with the trick that I'm going to show you so you can see the huge difference. Okay, this is me really, honest to goodness, trying to do a straight line. And you can see it's not terrible, but it's not really perfectly straight either. It's a little wonky. If you kind of adjust it, it might look better. But when you're doing a wall hanging that has a lot of perfectly straight across lines like this, it starts to get worse the more, like, the more you do. It just gets more and more crooked and crazy looking. But there is a trick that you can do that will make it a lot easier. And that is a wooden dowel, specifically in this case, a 3 8 inch dowel. What you're going to do is replace the filler cord with the dowel and just tie your knots around it instead. And as long as your dowel is straight, your knot row will be straight as well. You can see my dowel wasn't quite long enough to finish this. I kind of underestimated how long, or I overestimated how many ropes would fit on this dowel, but that's not really the point. You can see how incredibly nice and straight this row is. It looks just like perfect. For like a geometric pattern or, you know, something with a lot of straight lines in it, it's going to make a huge difference in the finished way that your wall hanging looks. Like, <laughs> this looks terrible compared to this. It's not even close. Once you finish your project, if there's little bits hanging on the ends, you can just clip those ends off flush with the, with the end of your macrame, and then you wouldn't have to worry about seeing them. You might want to add just a teeny bit of glue to the back of the knots on the end, just so they don't slide off of the dowel, just to be safe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!